All right, so I'm at the park office in Kearney, and um, I just changed my entire route. Uh, I was going to do Papa Kiwis into Ayagu tomorrow, and um, I was just told that it's not super nice there. Um, and was suggested a totally different route that's a loop. Um, same amount of portages, actually there's seven instead of eight, but the last portage is 1800 meters instead of 16. Um, and it's going through Rain Lake, so um, I've got a map and I'm gonna give it a go. I gotta get going. Bye. The girl at the office uh, suggested a different loop um, that's actually a loop, which I like doing loops. Um, putting in it rain, I'm going through uh, to Islet to stay tonight, so I've got two portages into Islet. And um, then I think there's like three or four portages, just small ones that are going to take me into McCraney tomorrow. I'm the only one on Islet tonight, and I think she said there's only one other site booked on McCraney tomorrow. And then from McCraney, I have an 1800 meter portage um, back into rain. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Well, I'm here at the Rain Lake put in, and uh, the bugs are horrendous. <laughs> Um, I got out of the car and they were swarming me immediately. Um, I have permethrin on my clothes, so they're not uh, actually biting me, which is nice. Um, but they're just kind of like in my face and stuff. So such is life. There's a small breeze and um, it's about 540. And uh, I have to paddle all the way through Rain Lake. And then I think I have two portages. I think, uh, I don't even know what's on the map right here. Let me see. Uh, 300, hmm, nope, 740 and a 485 or something like that. I can't even see it because I don't have my glasses on, but 740 and 485 into eyelets. So I got to get moving. It is the longest day of the year. First day of summer. Super happy about that. So uh, I'm going to get going and um, get these bugs off me. All right, I'm all ready to go. Got my pack in there. Got my extreme straw tied to the seat. Pillows there, ready to portage. My water bottle clipped in. In the front, I have an extra backpack on this trip. I will be carrying this on the portages with my canoe. It is very light. It has my no bug zone uh, VCS 13 backpackers mesh room um, because I'm going to need it. And in the front, I've got my tow rope with my baler whistle, etc. safety kit. So I am ready to go. All right, I am paddling on beautiful Rain Lake. I absolutely love it so far. Beautiful uh, puffy clouds in the sky. And uh, so far, the conditions are good. There's a slight wind, not enough to bother me, but enough to blow the bugs away. So that's fantastic. Right, I've had a very lovely paddle through Rain Lake. Um, it hasn't even been an hour yet. It's about 45 minutes. And um, I've just found the portage from Rain into Islet. Now it is uh, 740 meters. And oh, by the looks of it, I get to go uphill. So. Oh, and stairs. Great workout. <laughs> awesome. Wow. I don't even want to do this. <laughs> Killer. Alright, well, I'm going to go with the canoe first. I don't know why. The pack's probably harder because it's heavier, but I'm going to give her. Here we go. Alright, well, I was moving along on the portage pretty good. Well, I got to this spot and uh, I didn't actually tighten my shoes, so I can't get my foot out of here. So I had to put the canoe down. I'm gonna have to use both hands to get my foot up, and uh, then I will continue on. <laughs> All right, well, I don't even know. I think I just made it about halfway, and the paddle came out of the one hold here. Because I've got the yoke right right by the seat, right almost in the middle of the canoe, it's great because it sits perfectly centered. Um, but it makes the paddles kind of hard to reach. And um, 
it came out twice and so I just started getting frustrated and my shoulders started getting sore so I just said you know what just put it down go get the pack and come back There's another fun area <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the bugs but they are making quite a sound I've got five of them on my hand right now oh boy portaging in June joy joy <laughs> Well, it turns out I was only three minutes from the end of the portage with the canoe. I was almost there, so oh well, that's okay. I'm at the other end now with my bag and the bugs, lots of them, and I just found out the name of this lake. It's called Hot Lake. That's hilarious. Something just jumped. I didn't even look to see if there were any moose or anything in the lake before I started filming. I just have to get away from these bugs, so off I go. There she is, just waiting for me. Yay! So, I can see the next portage right across on the other side of Hot Lake. I'll probably be paddling less than five minutes <laughs> and then uh, doing the next portage into Islet. It's always so nice when you get away from the portage and get a little wind on you on the lake and then the bugs start to go away. Ooh. I can't stand that buzzing sound, it makes me insane. All right, I have reached the portage from Hot Lake into Islet, 455 meters. All right, I am just at the end of the 455 meter portage from Hot Lake to Islet, and uh, not bad at all. I'm uh, very out of shape. <laughs> And my legs are really tired, so I'm glad I just had these two. There we go, there's Islet Lake. Ooh -ha. So it's really hard to tell because of uh, the crazy tree cover I'm under, but I'm pretty sure it's raining. I'm not too worried about it. I was actually thinking of jumping in the lake when I got to my campsite. I know I won't do it. But I might give it a go tomorrow. We'll see how warm it gets. I did bring my towel. I didn't bring a bathing suit though, but I'm not really too worried about it. <laughs> There's the big pile of poo. <laughs> That's a lot. All right, I'm almost back to where my pack is. Here we go. Hello, pack. Let's go. I have made it to Islet Lake, the lake that I'm staying on tonight. It's uh, about 8.30, 8.25, something like that. And um, it's beautiful out. All right, never mind a moose attacking me. I got a seagull coming at me. He's coming right at me. Get out of here. Holy shit. This is about the second time of about seven or eight times that this seagull dive bombed me and uh, one of the further attempts, um, which is why I didn't get a chance to film on many of the other ones, plus I thought I was going in the drink for sure. Actually in my boat, shaking. This bird has been attacking me for like the last 10 minutes flying like within two feet of my head and I just keep sticking my paddle in the air. I don't know if there's babies nearby. I'm like trembling. Oh my god. Okay, I think that's the island and I'm gonna go get on it and get away from these crazy birds. Holy crap. 
Oh, I'm still paddling around looking for this island site. I can't seem to find it. Well, I have finally found the island site. It makes no sense because on the map, there's like one island in the cove kind of place. And then there's two that don't have sites. And the one that's in the cove has the site on it. But this island is the farthest out from the cove out of all three of those islands. And here it is. Those seagulls freaked me out. There's their little, I don't know, there's like a little patch of um, just a tiny, tiny little island, maybe 10 feet in diameter. And they must have babies or something there. And I paddled really far away from it, but the guy was dive bombing me. I was so scared. He was going to knock me right out of my boat. Anyways, here's home for tonight. It's 20 after 9, and uh, I'm kind of in a hairy carry frenzy right now, so I'm um, just going to make a quick video. I had about a cup of water left in my Nalgene, so I poured it in there, and then I filled up my Nalgene with uh, water from the lake and put some Purinize in it, so it'll be ready to drink in an hour. By the time I drink this, um, that'll be ready. Uh, I need to make dinner, and I also need to set up before it gets dark. Well. I can set up in the dark. I'm going to make the uh, chicken fettuccine alfredo. A fettuccine alfredo with chicken. Um, so I've got two cups of water in here now. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it all. I might dump some of it into a Ziploc bag because I think it's for two people. I know that these portions are generally not super huge, but two cups of water is quite a bit. What a beautiful view here. The sunset and uh, on this lovely first day of summer, a beautiful, beautiful pink sky. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. And those evil seagulls are over there. I still haven't watched that footage, but I should have actually put it on my selfie stick and just let him. He was just coming right at me. Oh my God, I've never had a seagull attack me like that. I was so scared. Anyways, I gotta go. I so fast with this Mighty Mo Jet Boil. Um, I didn't get a chance to do anything except take a picture of the sunset um, and then take out some. So I just took some of the noodles out, just like two handfuls, and there's still a bunch in there. I'm going to stir it up and close the bag, and then I'm going to set up my tent. So my tent set up, have my chair here, my lovely dinner I'm about to eat. Still have my full cup of water, and um, I'm going to sit down and eat. I am uh, tired. <laughs> It's almost 10 o'clock. All right, so there is my fettuccine alfredo with chicken. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna eat it. It's dark, I can't really film anything. So um, I'll let you know later what I thought of it. Well, it's 10.10 on the first day of summer and I'm finally getting my awe moment. I'm sitting here in front of a beautiful campfire on a lake all by myself in Algonquin and um, eating my delicious dinner. So I'm super happy now. I'm really, really tired. I'm actually excited to go to bed, but I know once I eat, I'll have to sit up for at least an hour before I hit the sack, so. It's about 10.30. I just wanna say thank you to whoever left the big pile of wood on the island on uh, I, Isley. I can't, never, I can't say the name of this lake right. Uh, Islet Island, Islet Lake. I finished my dinner a little while ago and uh, had a couple little Snickers bites for dessert. Um, the pasta was pretty good. It didn't really taste like fettuccine alfredo with chicken. Um, just tasted like flavored pasta. It actually tastes like the three cheese pasta that I get, which is very good. Um, I'm glad I took two handfuls out because I ended up putting about three spoonfuls into the fire. Um, so it was quite a bit. And um, just eating this late at night, I just don't want to eat a ton of food. Um, as you can see, I have removed my bug net from my face. The bugs have actually uh, disappeared. They've stopped buzzing around me about maybe a half an hour ago. So that's like super awesome. I've got about five portages to do tomorrow, I think, but they're just all small. And then uh, tomorrow I can spend the day enjoying the, 
the area and the site and doing some exploring so that'll be nice um, but for now I think I'm going to sign off so uh, amazing awesome first day of summer I'm super happy I'm here and um, glad I changed my route and uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow so good night Well, I woke up at 5 a.m. to go to the bathroom, and uh, it's 5.30 now. I just took a bunch of pictures and videos. When I got up, the sky was beautiful red. And um, now I'm having that debate that I always love to have. Do I go back to sleep, or do I get up and get, get going with my day? Um, so the adventure in me, of course, says, get up, let's get going. You know, by the time I make breakfast and pack up and get on the water, it'll be like 7.30 and uh, maybe I can still see a moose or some wildlife. Um, so, I guess I'm staying up. Okay, so way off in the distance, beyond the camera's view, I see two somethings coming this way. Um, now the last time I saw something that looked like this, it was moose, um, but I think it might be people. I know there's people staying on a campsite down that way. So it could be two people kayaking or canoeing, or it could be two moose. I guess I will see when they get closer. The views here with the sunrise are just stunning this morning. Okay, there they are. This is awesome. I knew it couldn't be people this early. First of all, they told me I'm the only one staying here. I did hear voices yesterday, so I think there were some people that were on the backpacking trail that maybe were staying over there. But uh, nobody's up and out this early. I'm not even up and out yet. I mean, usually I am, but it depends on the day. So they're there. There's the evil seagull. I was actually going to paddle out to go see those moose, but I'm kind of afraid to go past that island where the seagulls are. He's still freaking me out. I haven't been mean to you. You've been mean to me. Thank you, Mr. Siegel. That was quite a show. Well, the sun has come up. The seagull has taken off after eating its lovely breakfast. 
and my two moose friends are still sitting out there. So I think I'm going to jump in the canoe and see if I can get a closer look. Hopefully they don't take off on me. You can see they're not moving. Well, it looks like I have a ton of footage of these two beautiful stumps. They are definitely not moose, and I feel like a total dork. But, such is life. I guess you never know until you look. They sure did look like moose from far away. Oh well, I've been duped. Not the first time. <coughs> I'm just about to make some breakfast. So today I'm gonna have um, a wrap. Got a nice big wrap here. Two eggs. That's some two-year-old uh, white cheddar. And in here I have some salsa. Some uh, It's just mild, um, all original natural salsa. So, super excited, I'm starving. I'm going to get going. So here we go. Okay. My wrap was all done. It looks good, it smells good. Ooh, I had it dripping everywhere. <laughs> Good thing I had that paper towel. Mmm, delicious. There's that giant poo that I mentioned. There's my foot for size reference. It's got to be moose poop, right beside all the deer poop. There's some more. There's some more of that gigantic poop. <laughs> Had to be a moose here. Alrighty, well I'm all packed up. It's about quarter after eight. And uh, yeah, it took me a while this morning. It just kind of took my time. I went for a paddle to see the moose that wasn't a moose. And I got that video of the seagull eating the fish. So that was cool. And uh, the winds are picking up quite a bit, but I believe they're in my favor this morning. So that's kind of nice. Um, but you know, that remains to be seen. So I've got uh, four portages and uh, then I am on McCraney. And um, that's where I'm staying tonight, so off I go. Oh, I'm just taking my time paddling through Islet to get to the portages. No rush today, not like yesterday. I'm not racing the clock, so I can just take my time and enjoy the scenery. It's quite pretty. And there's no one out here, so I love that. Oh, there's the sun. It was hiding. <laughs> there it is. Ta-da! I can hear the waterfalls, but I couldn't see anything. Well, that teeny tiny 40 meter portage it was very tricky. <laughs> It was hard to get the canoe up because the path was so narrow. I don't know, I scratched it on a couple of trees, but all good. I made it. Got a really nice picture there. I think that might be uh, blow up worthy. It's hard to see in the sunlight here, but it looked pretty spectacular. It's really nice when you're out on the water. The sun is shining, it's warm. Um, the little bit of wind that you create paddling seems to be enough to get rid of the bugs and it's wonderful and then when you get to the portage it's just like 
and they're just all over you and they love to hide inside the canoe with you. That's what happens when you go tripping in June and um, I think it's still worth it. A, there's nobody out here, which is fantastic. I don't know how busy it would be if it was August. Maybe it would be totally different, but I have no clue because I've never been in this area. And um, it's not that bad. I mean, when you're out on the water, like I said, it's great. It's just when you're doing the portages. So that 1800 meter one tomorrow will probably kick my butt. Weed Lake. Yeah, I'm on. Okay, so the portage sign is way back there on the tree. This is all land, uh, courtesy of our friends the beaver, I guess. I don't know if there's a way in. I don't know how to get to that portage. Um, I thought when I got up here I would see a way in, but I do not.